What's good, y'all? You dub back here again in 2020. Let's get it. We in March. And uh, y'all know I'll bring y'all more fresh new content and content that nobody be talking about. Because I guarantee you've never heard anyone talk about this content, at least to this depth. Because I y'all know I like to go in. Slap boxing. Some of y'all be like, wonder, are you off your rocker? What the hell are you talking about? Slapping. You, do you know that one of the most effective tools in a, a fighter's arsenal is if he knows or she knows how to actually slap? Some of y'all are going to be like, <gasps> now, don't let your masculinity feel emasculated, okay? I'm going to be dropping actual factual evidence and actual fighters who have used slap techniques and understanding why slapping can be damn effective, okay? Now... For those of you who are instantaneously turned off, why do you think slapping is a bad thing? Oh, it's a girl's tool. Hmm, interesting. There's a reason for that, right? Considering most of them don't know how to fucking slap to begin with. Uh, uh, it, it, it's not manly. Well, why is it not manly? Um, it's not effective. Well, what makes it not effective? Oh, uh, I couldn't use it in a real fight. Oh, interesting. Hmm, hmm. What if I told you that a slap is literally one of the best tools you could ever have? Ever, ever! Watch you, Jay Chris Jericho. A slap literally can be used at any distance. Some of y'all may be taken back. You're like, wonder, what? Yeah, a slap can be used probably the most long range of attacks of unarmed combat besides... Um, Kicks, even more so than the most kicks, especially if you have shorter legs, uh, the slap can be used as close as possible. Now, you're not going to get as much power, but if you know how to slap, in fact, you might knock somebody out on the close. A slap could be bear claw, leopard, bear claw, leopard, all kinds. All kinds of slaps. Do you know that sumo doesn't use punches? Sumo wrestling, they use slaps. Thrusts. Those are slaps. And they're mighty effective. Do you want to be on the receiving end of a sumo's, of a sumo wrestler slap? I don't think so. Here's the interesting thing. Let me deconstruct before I get into the, um, you know, the intricacies of it. I remember my bros and myself, you know, a little bit. We didn't do it too much, but like pillow fight. Now the pillow fight is here with your brothers. No, no, I take them. Not them fluffy ones. You take them, them shriveled up ones, or you take one like this where it's a little bit worn. Boy, them boys get hurt. Them boys get hurt. Let me tell you that right now. Or you take it and full force bop, feeling concussive blows like you just got hit by a fucking Solid left hook or solid right straight, all right? To the toe. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You feeling it, boy? You all feeling that shit? Actually, I ain't gonna lie. Pillow fight can be worse than any. Like, I can take punches. Most dudes don't know how to throw hands. And pillow fighting, any, again, force amplifier. Okay. Now, <laughs> slap boxing. They said slap boxing. Let me tell you something. I learned firsthand. Slap boxing hurts most worse than most guys' punches. I a fee, one of the hardest hits I've ever felt was a female who actually fucking knew how to slap. Shit hurt. It stung. Now I didn't let it show me, but that shit hurt. I felt that heat. I was young, but I felt that. I was like, damn. I'm used to, you know, I, I didn't grow up fighting like that, but I, I took some blows. I taken some hits. Oh, I taken falls. But that shit hurt. I was like, damn. There's a, a line in Rap God by Shady, Eminem. The slap box, slap box. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Okay? Slap boxing. Think about what is being said. Slap boxing. We'll, we'll, we'll table that. We're going we gonna to get back around to that. Let's break down this whole slapping thing. Now, what does it mean to slap? Not closed fist. Is it every strike that's not closed fist? No. You could have rich hand. Or... You know, rich hand, knife hand, um, spear hand, right? Karate, karateka techniques, okay? Teng sudo, utilizing and whatnot. You could use eye gouging and all that kind of stuff, right? 
But a slap, by definition, is, or at least practical definition anyways, it is an open-handed strike. That is a slap. An open-handed strike. Now, for some reason, we believe that just because it's closed-fisted means it's going to be better. No, 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 no. Especially, I teach this for what? For a lot, most women who don't know how to fight, do not use a closed fist because you're probably going to break your damn knuckle or you're going to throw this ineffective-ass, weak-ass punch. Or you're going to telegraph it. Most folk, when they throw a punch, they telegraph like a motherfucker. It's like they use a pull stick. And instead of using the stick as effective as a bow, as a staff, they do this overhand haymaker. That's why a lot of dudes, when they're drunk, they do this haymaker. They're looking to try to clock somebody in there and leave themselves open, right? Slapping don't do that. Slapping as much as it can do this. This. You said you, you even, it doesn't even catch. The camera doesn't even catch my hand. I'm not even putting any power. See what I'm saying? It could be this. It could be. It opens it up. Then you get your hips into it like you're throwing a punch. Interesting, ain't it? A lot of folks teach this. You understand that this is the hardest part of the hand? They teach palm strikes, right? That's a slap. A palm strike is a slap. One of the things I teach people is don't do this flat-handed. Number one, you can break your wrist. Two, this. You only do this for this reason. Like you're clapping. Clap, clap, clap your hands. If you do this, you're only doing this for a lot of reasons. A lot of people, I teach people to curve. It's a vacuum. Hit, hit something with this. With this vacuum closed. Tiger Claw-esque. Hit that. See what happens. Yeah. Another thing is slats use whip motion. Use whip techniques. Some people, it's old bare knuckle techniques, actually. Bare knucklers use this. Bare knuckle boxers. They hit like that. You know. Or think about a backhand. A backhand is a reverse slap. Backhand strike. Backhand punch. Effective, ain't it? Inverse is a slap. You see? Palm thrust. That's where you could open it up. And you could hit it, you know, or an open hand. Okay? You do this, you're gonna you're gonna feel that. Especially if that person's not expecting it. And remember, that's always the hardest punch or hardest strike is when somebody doesn't expect it. And you can also hit, it's easier to hit somebody to feel a vision. Also, it's less telegraphed. It's easier to do this than it is to do this. You see, motion. Newton's second law of motion, mass, size, weight, okay, times acceleration equals force. In layman's terms, bigger object, heavier object, plus speed equals amount of impact. Say slap boxing is not effective. Get hit by a 250-pound man who's swinging his arm very quickly. What's going to happen? It's going to be going to knock somebody down, right? It's the same thing as the motion of pushing. Sumo, they push, right? Size, acceleration, force. Boxing, knowing how to throw a hook. You throw that same power with the hook, and maybe not as powerful, but it's a hell of a lot of speed. Bam. The Baki series, specifically a new grapple of Baki. And one reason it even illuminated this whole concept of a slap for me. The ogre, Hanma Yujiro, taught Hanma Baki this technique. And I think, I thought it was Ryu. It was, the, it was the fifth of the, he was the poison. Oh, Yanagi. I think it was Yanagi. Um, in fact, Orochi Dopo. And it's on Netflix in Baki 2018. You can see this fight where Baki utilizes slaps. And Yanagi utilizes a vacuum, a vacuum fist. To where it took out the oxygen, but still, slap. And where Ipo was just, you know, my dad said never, it's, it's a woman's technique. And I'll get to why that whole thing about the woman technique in a second. But Baki showed a lot, showcased the utilization of it. Do you know that a slap is a whip? Probably never thought about it like that, did you? Throwing a whip. Are you going to say whips aren't effective? You have been hit by a whip or ever been hit by... Uh, uh, a towel wrapped up like a whip. Whoosh! 
can potentially break the sound barrier. Throw out a proper slap. Yeah, it'll even sting and it'll leave you not wanting any more, will it? Now, why do we say it's a woman's weapon? Because most women physically aren't as built as men. Now, that doesn't mean some women aren't physically developed more, but no. Also, here's the thing. A lot of women have stronger hip thigh action going on proportionally, especially if she has a more squat body or if she has these long levers. Some people say levers. If she has these long levers where she's long and lanky, she can bring that whole thing around and it's a whip. She can either bring in power with it or whip. Think about that mom. Think about that mom or that grandma. She hit you with that slap. You felt that, didn't you? There's a reason for that because physics are physics. Don't let your mom be the looty. No. <laughs> understand technique. There's technique in it all. Okay? Same thing as if you understand wrist locks. <laughs> wrist locks. Simple, right? It can put you down if you know what you, you know. Or somebody can put you down if that person knows what he or she is doing. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Slap boxing. Less destructive. Less cutting. One of the reasons why you could do this. Also, it can teach you to train you to defend. You can do this. It's kind of like using wooden swords, even though wooden swords can kill you, rather than real katanas for kendo uh, to train with. Because if you get hit with a wooden sword, it might, ooh, it might hurt you, but it's not going to slice your head off, right? Um, and the same thing is if you slap box, it's less likely to leave permanent damage than if you use gloves or if you use your actual closed fist. Plus, you could say it's a whole thing about amplification. If you know what you're doing, any way to use the body, knees, bows, you know, the Muay Thai talks about the eight points of contact. Fists, kicks, that's four. Your elbows are six and your knees, eight points of contact. If you know how to use any of those, any of them can be lethal, including slap boxing. But yeah, slap boxing. So how could you effectively slap box? You see my hand position? How do you effectively box? How do you effectively bare knuckle box? You could do that. You could do closed fist. But some people, open, open hand, right? Now, teach closed fist. See my hand turn over? Open hand. Or just throw a flicker jab, throw a back fist. If you can effectively, if you know how to utilize a back, you ever done this or you ever turn around and hit somebody and they're like, damn, you put no power behind it? Use that for a slap. Or you can, if you're not trying to hurt somebody, you can also masquerade it as a push. Oh, you push a ring, quick turn, slap that person down. Or quick turn, huh, hit somebody right on the chin. You hit somebody right on the chin with an uppercut. With that, with that palm, with that palm strike that I showed you earlier, right? Hit somebody like this. Yeah, you can be doing business. Slap boxing. You're also taught to parry blows and boxing and other martial arts. Play it like this. You're playing, you're playing, you're using your hand out there. Quick palm thrust. Quick that. Somebody could potentially be an absolute monster. Whether you mean kickboxing, kickboxing, excuse me, Muay Thai. Now, it's a little bit different because uh, uh, you got to be careful in boxing. You got to be careful with the rules. Okay? But some boxers utilize slapping techniques. As punches or you can push somebody off you you know you want a clean fist but hell if you set that thing up and you're just looking for KO blows if you got the power you put that thing out there or slap slap somebody hands away and then boom land that bow on them or, or slap somebody outside the head and bop make sure your glove is legal but this is a totally legal hit just hit somebody outside the head boy now it might not be as effective to the body you might have to close a fit, but you still hit somebody, you know, hit somebody. Clean clock them on the chin. Throw that equilibrium off. Hit them to the ear. Throw that equilibrium off. See what I'm saying? Expand your mind. Slot boxing is a very vital, effective method to knowing how to throw, how to fight. Do I usually use it? No. But can I get in? Absolutely. How is slap boxing any worse than knowing Muay Thai? 
on the street that know in boxing, bare knuckle boxing, karate, jujitsu, wrestling. How? It's a martial art. There are legitimate effective techniques. Um, you know, you can, you can look at many martial arts series. You can look at various masters. I guarantee if you look up and you look into your martial art, there probably is a slapping technique or a few. They're just hitting under there. And if they're, they can be effective with women against bigger dudes, potentially, think about it if you're an elite fighter and can do it. Just think about that. If we're teaching women to learn how to slap as a dude, listen, you clean clock somebody, he's not going to care what the way you hit him. He probably doesn't even know how you hit him. Think. Expand your mind. Incorporate every tool at your disposal and go out there and execute. Be effective. Protect yourself. And that's a beautiful thing about slapping because if you're unsure, if you want to put harm on somebody, basic slap, basic push, whoa, bro, stay off of me. Or make them feel a little something like, dog, chill the fuck out. See what I'm saying? Unexpected word to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the matter. This is part of the reason why some people prefer to grapple because they're not per trying to put permanent harm or they're not trying to catch a case. So instead of closing that fish, you open that thing up. You might get hit with assault, or you just like, bro, I was I was just protecting myself. I was trying to get him all off me. Now, if he's just so happy to feel a little something, something on the end receiving it, that's his dumb ass fault. <laughs> all right, y'all. And if there is any, <laughs> have a beautiful day, beautiful night, peace. If there is any techniques, if there are any martial arts, if there is anything you would love me to break down, you know how we do it on this channel. Um, I love to have these kind of discussions. I love talking about fighting. I love talking about the impl uh, implementation on the various aspects in life and looking at things from a rare alternative perspective.